Hey, how's everyone doing? This is Oz with Oz Mechanics, and on today's video, we got this 2019 Range Rover right behind me. So the issue with this Range Rover, it was at the dealership, and it had an issue on the back, so it got hit from the back, and they fixed it up. They got it running and everything, but the problem now is that the rear tailgate is actually not moving at all. So you hit the remote control, it doesn't even open. You can hear the latch open, but that's about it. So how about in today's video, we're going to try to see if we can try to fix up this 2019 Range Rover. Am I way over my head? We don't know. So let's get to this video and let's try to see if we can fix up this vehicle. So I'm just gonna show you what we're gonna do right here. As you can see, we're just gonna hit this right here and let's see if we can. So as you can see, it kind of just opened up, but on these Range Rovers, they open all the way up right here. So it was just basically locking and locking. So as you can see, locks back up. We're gonna try this again. And you're gonna just kind of look right here. It's gonna pop open, but it doesn't go up. All right, so now let's go to, let's go inside the vehicle and let's look at scan data. Let's see if we have any codes. And then we're gonna go and check out some wire diagrams. Oh, Jesus. Hopefully we can fix this up. Hopefully we can get this repair. But remember, it was hit right behind here. So I'm just going to try to see if there's something going on, you know, loose ground, connector, or something like that. And you know, hopefully we can find this out. But let's go inside the vehicle and let's check out our scan tool. All right, so let's talk a little bit about this vehicle right here. So this vehicle was actually purchased from a salvage yard at an auction and it had damage on the rear end. So they took it to the Range Rover dealership and they had it there for a while just to get all the modules on their program and so on. Everything worked, but the only thing that wasn't working was the rear, the rear latch. So on today's video, we're gonna try to check this out. So let's go to control units. Uh, the thing is, I don't know if this scan tool is going to do this because it's a 19, but we're going to give it a shot. And what I'm trying to look for is the rear gate trunk module right here. Let's see if it's reading this. And check this out. There's no communication. Can that be our issue? But I've been through this road before, and sometimes it's just a scan tool that's not capable to actually get into this. So let's go get a different scan tool, and let's check that out. Let's see what we find out. So I'm going to pull out my launch right now, and we're going to see if we can actually read this module. All right, check out that size comparison, but we're going to give this a shot right here. So now we got to go to Land Rover. It's going to be reading our VIN. And I'm going to tell you one thing. This one had a hard time getting in there, and this one's already working, so I'm liking this a lot better right here. System selection, and we're looking for the rear trunk module. All right, there you go. <laughs> Check that out. So let's look at some codes, and look at these codes right here. Left actuator short circuit to ground, and left actuator no signal. So we have a C2 2006-11 and a C2006-31. So this is just pertaining on the left actuator. And also, I love you, but man, why didn't you work? We have this launch right here, and it's working, and it's showing something. So let's try to go to our data pids right here and see if we can. All right. This is a half sensor, left anti-pinch anti seal. All right, now let's see if we got anything on the right. All right, cool. All right, cool. I'm good with this. See if we can run this. As you can see, left actuator hall, le uh, active, active, three, three, inactive, inactive. So this is showing, what I'm seeing right here is both of them are right and left. They're both showing activity. So what's going on now? 
Uh, the code right here, remember what we were seeing, no signal. But as we can see, they're both showing active, active, inactive, inactive. So I just want to open the, uh, the actual rear latch or rear hatch and see if anything goes on. Let's go to the back of the vehicle and let's check this out. And we're going to look at our scan tool once we open up the, the, the latch on the back or the hatch. And we're going to see if we have any activities on this if it starts moving. All right. Sorry for the glare. But I'll just, I'm going to let you know what's going on. So we're going to go ahead, open this. And I'm going to let you know if we get anything. And it looks pretty much the same. So I don't know if this data is going to help us out at all. Because we're not moving at all. As you can see, it's still kind of the same. Even if we close this up. Even with the glare, I'm sorry for the glare right there. But yeah, I don't see any difference. So I'm just gonna start doing visual uh, inspections right now because like I said, this was hit back here. Uh, you can kind of see a little bit of, you see this right here? It's not all the way flush. Uh, they did a good job, whoever fixed this up. But now let's do a visual inspection and we're gonna see what we actually find out all right, so let's open this up. Uh, manual. Uh, let's take a little bit of power. And what I want to do now is we're going to do visual inspection and we're going to see what we find. So let's go to this back right here. As you can see, look at that. So you can see someone's been here before. That's broken right here. So this is our strut. These are our wires right there. Okay, you can see. I'm trying to see if there's any cuts or anything. Nicks, we don't see anything there. This is going to be the one for our left hand side. Um, let's try to see if we can remove this paneling right here and see what we can find out. So let's set up this camera and let's see what we can get from right here all right so we should be able to pop this free and that was pretty easy and let's take off these connectors all right cool all right so you can see we're all opened up right here so we can see our connectors we can see our module right here we can see our actuator, which opens up our rear hatch. And as well, if we move a little bit to the side, we have wiring here. And that wire, it kind of feeds to these connectors right here. So we have our left and as well our right. So right now what we want to check out, just verify, because we got to remember that on these euros right here, they have a lot of issues with water, water intrusion. But remember that this is the area that got hit. So I'm gonna put a picture above again so you can see the area that I got hit at. And then uh, as you can see right there, this was the area that got hit. So we don't know where this came from. This might be original. Uh, it might be from a, uh, from a junkyard, so we're not sure. So this could have been damaged right here, water intrusion, or when they connected this, you know, uh, pin fitments or anything like that so what I want to do right now we're gonna go ahead and start taking off these connectors make sure that nothing's bad on them and then we're gonna see if we can find any problems so we'll start off with this all right and we're gonna just keep on moving down the line looking good Okay, I don't see nothing at the moment. It's looking pretty good. And we can see right here, someone was here before because that is broken there. It's kind of hard to see right there, but we don't have any damage there. And this is one right here so we always want to do a visual inspection oh <laughs> check that out 
I don't know if you can see that. Look at that right there. That pin is bent. So if we look at this one, this is going to be pin. Luckily, they do have some numbers on here. This is pin eight. You can look inside, see if I can take a picture of that. But the numbers are right there. Uh, you can catch that. All right, well, this is pin eight. So let's look at our actual wiring diagram and see what that pin does and see if we can fix that up and see if we can give this back to the customer. So let's go inside. All right, so pin eight right there. That is our hall ground. So hall ground. Let's make sure where she goes and she goes to our module right here so let's see if we can uh, fix this pin up and give this a try and see what happens so that is kind of crazy little little just little uh, like I said we always got to do a visual inspection first verify what's going on this was in the wreck as well so you always got to look at those connectors sometimes when it's at a body shop they kind of just force them in there and they're just in a rush to get everything going so let's put this back together, see what we find out, uh, and see what we can get. All right, just real quick, I'm just gonna show you what I did. Um, so I just took off this little cover right here, and then I had to push in that little uh, metal pin right here to pull that out. And after that, as you can see, um, you can tell that it's straight now. And what I did once I pulled that out, I got some little pliers and I just kind of crimped it in together. So now we're going to put this back on and we're going to verify that this connects. All right, cool. All right, everything looks pretty good. Now we're going to give this a shot. In real time all right Let's see if this all right let me get my key first to check this out All right, here it goes. Is she going down? It's getting stuck right there. Let's just manu manually close this down. Might have to take off the codes. All right, there you go. So now it's opening. All right, cool. All right, there you go. <laughs> that is a fix right there. Woo! Sorry for about that, but yeah, I'm excited. All right, so cool. Now we're gonna clear the codes. I'm gonna check it out. As you can see, it's still not locking, but for me, I'm happy that she's opening and closing i just gotta button up some stuff right there remember this was open right here i gotta put the little thing right there i'm too excited right now i can't even say the right words so there you go if you do like this video please put a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that little notification bell to get our brand new videos coming out from oz mechanics hey how's everyone doing this is oz with oz mechanics and on today's video i got this 2019 Land Rover, Range Rover, what? So the issue with this Range Rover, it came from the dealership. It had a rear end uh, problem that, <coughs> ah, ah, okay. So the issue with this Range Rover, it came from the dealership and it had a rear end, rear end, rear, rear, rear problem. Ah. <laughs> 